Well, good morning. So I just got to the office and I have to show you what I found on my desk. Um, Amanda is not quite here yet, but uh, let me show you. So I found uh, this hand sanitizer because I have been um, sick and I don't know if I should say this, but um, I know, let me put that there. I know exactly who got me sick. It was actually a client, uh, which is fine because I know in the past, I'm sure I've gotten other people sick um, from like shaking hands and whatever. But uh, yeah, so a client got me sick. So Amanda's like, girl, you need some hand sanitizer. Um, so I'm today's the first day that I'm back to the office. And sure enough, that is what she leaves me, a little gift. So um, anyway, Today, um, I'll probably need to have Amanda do an extraction on my skin because I am getting my monthly premenstrual breakout. How fun. Here she is. <laughs> Whoa, look at her, y'all. Wearing jeans. Yes. What? What? Well, first of all, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Hello. So, this is a momentous occasion. Hello. My nose is just... <laughs> <laughs> so this is Amanda's first time in years for me. I mean, literally years that I've seen her in jeans. <laughs> She's a leggings type of gal. I am. These but, are kind of like leggings. Uh, yeah. Oh wait, new umbrella. Get ready. Oh. Watch. Whoa, oh. that was quick. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Whoa. Is that new technology? It what is, is that? I was just telling our friends that um, I have my little premenstrual breakout. Uh, um, this one I was able to extract because um, it came to a head, oh but gosh. there's one here that I was saying that you'll probably have to extract for me later. Yeah, yeah. we'll find some time. So with uh, premenstrual breakouts, it is a hormonal process that takes place um, and therefore you cannot completely 100% ever prevent these um, breakouts from occurring even if you're like on point with your acne routine because even women who are not acne prone, they will still get premenstrual breakouts um, from time to time. So that means that us acne prone women, we're definitely gonna get them. Uh, but with that said, I did previously create a video that goes in depth on exactly which hormones come into play with premenstrual breakouts um, and all of that so I will have that linked down below if you want to see it um, and then I also created another video with just a few tips on how to minimize the severity of premenstrual breakouts um, again they're still gonna pop up but you can minimize um, how many you get or how big and inflamed and painful that they get um, and yeah, so some of those tips um, are like taking supplements. Um, zinc and selenium are anti-inflammatory, but if you could only take one supplement, it would be omega-3 fatty acids because not all, only are they anti-inflammatory, but those um, that supplement actually, um, what am I trying to say? Sorry, there's like all this traffic coming by that's distracting me. <laughs> but I like the lighting in the I window. All the it's it. it she, no, she's right. It's I told you. my knowledge is what's it's distracting me. It's not the traffic. <laughs> well, well, my brain and the fact that I like the lighting of this window here <laughs> is distracting me. Um, so anyway. Uh, yeah, omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, not only are they anti-inflammatory, so that can help bring down the severity of these premenstrual breakouts, but they also have hormone balancing properties for women. Um, so that alone is another great reason to take them. Uh, that will definitely also help to curb down the severity of these hormonal breakouts. Um, with that said, I have been really good about um, taking my supplements. Um, what I failed at though was icing, which is another tip that I talk about in that video because I had um, my third microneedling session um, this week and actually the video that I did of that experience should be live right now. Okay, I'm rambling, sorry. <laughs> But, um, so ice is another um, tip that I have to help curb down premenstrual acne, but I was not able to ice this time because um, I was healing from microneedling and I just didn't want to like add ice on top of after getting thousands of needles pushed into my skin. <laughs> so yeah, this one got a little bit out of hand, but we will um, have Amanda extract it out today. Okay, and on the topic of premenstrual acne, um, another thing that I think is worth mentioning is that um, a lot of times when women come across my acne kits, 
um, they'll email me or direct message me on Instagram and see if one of the kits is ideal for their skin. But unfortunately, um, sometimes these women only experience premenstrual breakouts um, and my kits are not ideal for that type of acne because again, you cannot completely prevent premenstrual breakouts from occurring and the acne products are just gonna like severely dry out your skin because you don't have that constant acne happening um, so my kits really are best for people who break out on a consistent basis so if you only break out once a month before your period um, the kits unfortunately would not help your skin but if you break out throughout the month and then of course it gets worse before your period um, the kits will definitely be able to help clear you up um, they would be ideal for your skin in that case so I just wanted to mention that because um, there is a difference between normal like acne prone skin and then just the hormonal process that takes place before your um, cycle comes on. So I just left the chiropractor's office. Um, I have so much filming to do today at the office that um, I'm really hoping my eye makeup will look okay because when I got off the table I had like mascara all over down here. Um, I was able to uh, remove that. Obviously you can see that it's gone, um, but my eyelashes were like pointed downward, <laughs> which always happens uh, when I get off the chiropractor table, but hopefully they'll kind of perk back up so that um, in these acne videos I'm gonna record later today, my eyelashes won't look crazy. Um, but yeah, so I have a little bit of time um, and Trader Joe's is pretty much right next door. So I am going to um, go run that quick errand. Um, I need some salt, uh, Himalayan pink salt to be exact, which is um, acne friendly. I only have like this much left in my little salt grinder. So I think Trader Joe's has it, we'll see. Uh, normally I buy that one off Amazon. And um, maybe some kombucha, I don't know. There were, I have a list, there were a few things that I needed. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna um, head over to Trader Joe's and then be back at the office, film some videos, do some work. And again, I need Amanda to extract out um, that pimple. So success at Trader Joe's. I got um, the pink Himalayan sea salt and then um, some Laura bars. These are actually for my husband, but um, Laura bars are pretty much acne safe. They don't really have too many ingredients in them. Like this one is just um, cashews and dates. Can't get it to focus, but yeah. And then um, the chocolate chip cookie one. Again, this one's for my husband. He loves these little snack bars. And then um, some kombucha, the cayenne, which is a new discovery for me. Um, I like it, it's a little spicy. And then the trilogy, this one my husband really likes. Um, but yeah, so just a really small quick run to Trader Joe's. Mainly it was to get the Himalayan pink salt, but you know you always have to get a few more things when you're out running errands. And um, oh, by the way, the prices on kombucha at Trader Joe's versus Whole Foods are so much better. At Whole Foods, I think kombucha is like $3.50 and here it was $2.99. Um, so I may have to stock up here instead. Oh, and are you looking there? See, that's... Yeah, that's okay. I didn't for know the where pictures, to look. yeah. Where should I look for the video? Because clearly in here. Oh, but if you look up, cray -cray. it's not that far off. It did, did look you look funny. Cray -cray? Did it look at the video? Okay, you know. I'm just like staring off, and then you're like, "Hey guys." <laughs> okay, so we're gonna extract um, this guy right up here, and um, we're not gonna wash my whole face because it's just one little guy. I'm not getting a peel. Um, Amanda is basically going to remove my makeup. Um, Okay, I'm done. Okay, thank you. Good job. <laughs> and yeah, this one um did not come to a head until right now. Let me here. This one did not come to a head until today. Um, so I could have taken care of it at home, but you know, I'm at the office. Why not? We'll let this little lady. Gotcha. <laughs> Thank 
you, my friend. You're welcome. Glad I could get it. Yes. I could have done it too, but. Mm-hmm. <laughs> been a little harder. Yeah. All right, it's 85. Thank you. <laughs> 85. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it goes back in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Charge me. <laughs> 85 cash. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so yeah, that is it. Amanda did a good job, as you can see.